Whether you want the best handgun for women for personal defense, home defense, recreation, or competitive shooting, the gun should be comfortable and easy to handle. The best handguns are slim and lightweight with a comfortable grip, compact yet powerful. The right handgun for you should meet your needs, be the right size for your hands, and easy to operate. It should have low recoil and be easy to use as a concealed carry weapon. We've listed the top seven handguns for women and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 7. The Sig Sauer P238 Caliber 380 Capacity 6 Plus 1. It's a 1911 inspired beaver tail style frame 380 beast, perfect for those of you who have problems racking the slide and smaller grip for comfort. Although some may find the classic style design suitable, it's widely dubbed as the ugly duckling. People tend to be thrown off by the humpback design, but make no mistake, the pocket size P238 is no doubt one of the best 380 ACP pistols for women who are looking for an accurate and comfy handgun for self-defense. Measuring at 5.5 inches in overall length, 15.2 ounces in weight, with a single action, all metal frame, and light recoil, the Sig P238 is one of the most powerful concealed carry pistols money can buy. It's very easy to rack the slide, offers low recoil, and a smooth trigger for that much-needed accuracy. Granted, there's reports of accidental discharges when dropped from a 30-degree angle, though. Not to mention, it has a short grip, which many large-handed people will find infuriating. Yet it still remains a popular market choice. It's easy to maintain, featuring no-hassle field stripping and affordable customization. You have so many colors and configuration designs that if you like, you can make your gun fancy and everything. The Sig Sauer P238 will burn a $600 hole in your pocket, and the magazines go from $40 to $60 for 7 rounds each. But I'm convinced that its reliability and accuracy justify the hefty price. Number 6. Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP The Springfield Hellcat RDP was the most expensive gun in the group, and it was hands down the winner with 410 points of a possible 450. It scored well in recoil, possibly because of the self-indexing compressor and a little more weight. Almost everyone loved the SMSC Red Dot. In the sights category, the RDP scored a 5 by all of the testers. There were a couple of complaints about the flat face trigger being uncomfortable, and it got low scores in size and weight, but otherwise it was a clear winner. It was a top pick of the 6 of the 10 shooters. Number 5. The Ruger Security 9mm the Ruger Security 9 has a compact and rugged construction. The slide and barrel are made of hardened alloy steel, while the grip is glass-filled nylon. The frame is textured to provide a comfortable, non-slip grip. It's widest at the bottom of the handle for a secure grip as well. The chassis is black anodized aluminum that makes the frame rigid and the gun has a blue matte finish. Its compact design ensures easy concealment while optimizing shootability. The handgun has a 15-round capacity magazine that ensures you have enough rounds to fire whenever needed. It has a hammer system hidden within the slide, which is much easier to rack than most pistols. One of the most outstanding features of the Security 9 is that the trigger is neither a traditional dual action nor a single action. Rather, it has a pre-cocked dual action that provides a trigger pull that feels short like that of a single action pistol. This gun has a minuscule external safety with a serrated edge. There's a trigger safety lever on the trigger shoe, which prevents unintended trigger travel. The trigger safety ensures that you can carry the gun safely without having to engage the manual thumb safety. The Ruger Security 9 is simple to disassemble, and you don't have to press the trigger. It's easy to access accessories for the gun as well. It comes with 30 holster options for compatibility with accessories from manufacturers like Blade Tech and Crossbreed. For its price, the gun offers an excellent feel of the trigger. It's short and crisp, but some users find the trigger reset a bit too long. Number 4. The Mossberg MC1 SC I can understand how Mossberg got so much flack for the MC1 SC, knowing that they're a shotgun brand trying to get into the handgun business again. What I don't get is how the gun elite is still shun and dismiss it with no valid points. They call it a Ruger knockoff, Shield and Taurus baby, Walther's gonna sue somebody, blah 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 and I haven't seen a single valid criticism about its features besides the aesthetics. 
The Mossberg MC1SC is a great budget choice for its value and features. I honestly don't know what the fuss is about. It's a lightweight, polymer, easy to conceal handgun with its slim dehorn design that enables a snag-free quick draw. Top that with a proper holster and you have yourself a great self-defense firearm. It has a clear seven round magazine so that you can see the condition of the bullets. It also has a nice grip. If anything, it's probably too grippy. It's heavier than the Glock 43 weighing at 22 ounces fully loaded, but it's highly stable with optimal accuracy and targeting. The trigger is a flat profile, easy pull with a safe takedown system, which is Mossberg's design, and it enables you to not pull the trigger during disassembly. Although a newcomer, the subcompact MC1SC 9mm doubles down on its compact size and ergonomics, and is definitely one of the most effective self-defense budget handguns for women. Number 3. The Glock 43 There's a reason why you see Glocks everywhere. They're some of the most popular semi-automatic pistols, and law enforcement officers use them as well. It's a relatively new gun with a single-stack magazine capacity of 6 plus 1 and a stopping power of 9mm with an exceptional ease of use and simple design. You can find smaller handguns on the market, but this one is perfect for someone with small hands. The Glock 43 is not as concealable as the Smith & Wesson M&P Easy, but it's much easier to operate because of the easy slide racking. The trigger pull is lightweight, the recoil is minimal, and it's easy to aim. It's also lighter than the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, sitting at around 16.4 ounces. It's lightweight, and there's no manual safety, but it delivers quite the blow. This gun is fantastic for newbies because cleaning, disassembly, and maintenance are a breeze and require no additional tools. The downsides are, although it's comfortable, the grip doesn't provide good handling, and the trigger can be difficult to pull for some. Despite these tiny downsides, I placed the Glock 43 on the overall best spot because it's a popular self-defense handgun of average size and weight. It's light, reliable, and all-around, no-nonsense handgun that anyone can use with confidence. Number 2. The Sig Sauer P365X 9mm Compact Pistol This Sig Sauer 9mm handgun is one of the best-selling compact handguns for women in the United States. It's right-handed and suitable for armed women with small hands. Even though it's compact, the gun fires flawlessly, it's easy to conceal and suitable for everyday EDC. The firearm was developed as a carry-on weapon for law enforcement professionals but quickly gained popularity with citizens for its small size and well-thought-out design. The semi-automatic concealed carry handgun is striker-fired with a recoil system. It has an impressive capacity for its small size and chambers 9mm Luger rounds, and the frame and slide are also stainless steel. The polymer grip has a modern and highly functional design with a nitron slide finish. It has a sandpaper-like finish for optimal comfort, control, and excellent grip, and comes with three backstrap inserts that enable you to customize it to fit your hand size. It features an undercut trigger guard designed as a cutout at the bottom of the grip. The position of the trigger offers three main benefits. It allows the pistol to sit lower in your hand, places your finger strategically so that it covers minimal distance, and offers a high grip of the firearm for better control and accuracy when shooting. The trigger pull mechanism is short and light with a quick take-up. Some people find the recoil a bit snappy, but it's manageable. The slide stop mechanism is ambidextrous, allowing you to lock the slide with either hand. It does not have an external safety, but an internal firing safety pin. As such, you can only fire the gun by pulling the trigger, optimizing safety. The semi-automatic handgun is fitted with an X-Ray 3 for both day and night sights. Coming in at number 1. SNW Shield Easy 380 The Smith & Wesson Shield Easy took second three years ago and for good reason. It's the easiest to shoot and operate centerfire pistol in existence. It has good sights, a decent trigger, and it's easy to shoot as well. It's the largest gun in the group and weighs the most, but anyone can operate the slide and load the magazine without a loading tool. While some might argue I should have chosen the 9mm version, I felt it was getting a bit heavy for what women preferred. There were a lot of compliments on magazine loading and ease of racking the slide and its light recoil. One issue is that there's a really high thumb forward grip, sometimes left the grip safety engaged. And the final round from a magazine sometimes popped up vertical causing a misfeed. The Easy did score the lowest in size and looks categories. The Easy Shield garnered 366 of a possible 450 points, putting it in a respectable second place once again. So that wraps up the list of best handguns for women. We hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, feel free to leave a comment, 
or suggestion for future videos or questions if you have them. We love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We've got a lot more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you on the next video.